Here's a bonus. It's called the self-effacing nine. This is very helpful if you're working with numerical data in columns, like you're doing bookkeeping, you're an accountant, or perhaps you're doing your taxes, or your bank reconciliation, and debits and credits have to match up. Anytime you're out, you're off, it's out of balance, by a number divisible by nine, you've reversed the number. I'll give you two examples. Let's do an easy one. You're adding up 13 and 23 and 12. This adds up to 848. Let's say on the other side with your debits and credits, you think you've written it down the same way, and it adds up to 66. Is that correct? 66. Well, that's not the same, and you wonder, what did I do wrong? Did I leave something out? 16 take away 8 is 8, and that is 18. The difference between the two is 18. If the difference is divisible by 9, as it clearly is, that means you've reversed the number. And in this case, here it is. You reverse the 31 and the 13. Anytime you add up columns of information and they have to balance out, if the result is divisible by 9, you've reversed the number. Now let's pick a more difficult one. Sometimes we're just working with 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. But sometimes we're working with more complicated numbers. 2,042, 1,963, and we'll make it easy, 800. This adds up to 5, this adds up to 10, that adds up to 9, uh, 18 I should say, and that would add up to 4. Let's say we write it again over here, 2042. 1963 and 800. 7, 8, 17, 47, 87. Well, they don't seem to match up. Hmm, what's the difference between the two? 15 take away 7 is 8, 9 is 1. It's divisible by 9, it's 18. So we've reversed the number. Of course, I did it deliberately. Here it is 2042 and 2024. Anytime you're balancing out two columns of information and you need them to be equal, debits and credits, for example, if the problem is divisible by 9, you reverse the number. Now let's look at another way to use the self-effacing 9. It's called self-effacing because you can use it to factor out anything. This is a fun little game. Let's take another column of information. 16, 23, 1947. Let's add this up. I get 105. Is that what you get? Good. <laughs> now we're going to take away everything that adds up to 9. Hmm. 6 and 3 adds up to 9. Let's take away 9 itself. What else have we got? 7 and 2 adds up to 9. That leaves us with a 1 and a 1 and a 4. That equals 6. 1 plus 0 plus 5 equals 6. It's one of the interesting things you can do with a 9. It's self-effacing. It can disappear and leave you with a basic bottom line. Sometimes simple arithmetic is the most complicated because we take it for granted. It's easy to make mistakes. So let's look at one more example and we'll do it with a birthday so you can see how it could be handy in numerology. Let's look at a birthday, May 20, 1952. So May 20, 1952. That's 7791977. Now I want to check my work and make sure that I added this properly. So here's the shortcut with the self-effacing 9. Take away anything adds up to 9. 9, 5, 2, and 2. And you're left with a 5 and a 1. Now this adds up to 24. Equals 6. So does 5 plus 1. That means I've checked my work and it's correct. The self-effacing 9 is handy if you're doing any bookkeeping, columns of information, or if you need to check your work. Remove the 9s and it'll add up to the same thing in the end.